Okay, so um, as I mentioned in the uh, presidential address in the opening ceremony, when you look at the cancer statistics in Europe, um, you see that uh, the chance of getting cancer before the age of 75 in Western Europe is somewhat higher than in Central Eastern Europe. But the risk of dying from cancer before the age of 75 is somewhat higher in Eastern Central Europe compared to Western Europe. So uh, I think that we have an obligation to try to understand uh, what is the explanation for this. And there could be many explanations, of course. Uh, one could be that perhaps the genetic background of the people is slightly different. Uh, it could be that uh, the training of doctors is different. It could be that uh, the access to innovative drugs is not so easy in some of these countries. Uh, so, as you can see, there are multiple reasons, but uh, ESMO, as uh, the leading professional organization in oncology in Europe, I think uh, has to look into this and will, in fact, engage in a dialogue with the oncologists working in these countries to try to understand what is their interpretation of this difference and what they see as possibilities for ESMO to, to help the situation. So this is going to be one of the main themes of uh, the next uh, two to four years for ESMO to try to examine the differences in care, the care of patients and to do whatever we can to make this, this difference a smaller difference. And we can indeed uh, help a lot with our educational tools. Um, we can uh, help in the training of the young oncologists in these countries. I think we need to also um, stimulate uh, clinical trials in these countries. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies are going to Eastern Europe because there is a big potential there in terms of patients. It is uh, also academic research. So we want to encourage oncologists in these countries to uh, run academic trials so to understand how you need to do that, how you can do that. I think that was the main message. Okay. Thank you, Martin. 